Hi, folks. Welcome back. Just want to give you an idea and maybe ask for some help as well for my plans for my channel in 2022 next year. Now, been a tough year. I've really been pushing hard. I got a couple of small breaks. I got a break from a couple of decent-sized channels that brought up my subs to almost 850. Some people don't consider that a lot, but I worked really hard to get those subs. And by the way, I appreciate every sub that I have more than you know. Of course, my goal in the end, unless YouTube turns me down, is to get the channel monetized. And then I can really, really bring up the channel. The thing that's holding me back is just breaking out. Just breaking out and with the terrible shadow banning they're giving me, it's really tough. I, I know you're probably tired of hearing me complain about it, but it's really unfair, and there's nothing I can really do about it by myself. Now, that being said, before I give you what I consider some of my plans for next year, I want to appeal again to all of you. If you can share this video with as many people as you can, uh, you know, make a copy of the link and email it to your friends and family that I think might be interested. Things like that. Share it any social media sites that you have. Just put it anywhere you can. Just mass send it out to people that you would think would be interested in watching it. Not everybody is interested in what we, how we have to say or what I have to say. And that's okay. I try to tell the truth the best I can with uh, world events, mostly U.S. politics and government. And some of you don't know me, I was a local city council member in the early 2000s, 2000 to 2008, in upstate New York in a city called Binghamton. And I was a city council president in 2006 as a Democrat. I left the party many years ago. I was term limited out. I ran two more times after that as a Republican and lost both times. Unfortunately, the district that I live in is very, 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 very heavy Democrat, mostly progressive Democrat, many New York City, uh, Binghamton University students live downtown, which is the district now, so it made it impossible to win, but that's okay. I did the best I could. What I'm trying to get to is that I've got some sense of how government works and doesn't work at the local level especially, I see through some of the BS because people are people. They're really running for city council. They're running for president. They still have the same pluses and minuses and they have a little bit more insight on what's said privately and what's said publicly. That being said, I want to give you an idea of some of my plans. Currently, I'm on YouTube I'm on Facebook and Twitter under Curtis Ghost Corner. Now, starting the beginning of the year, I'm not sure when, January, maybe February, I'm going to branch out, and I'll leave the links in the description as I do, as I do branch out and put videos on Gitter, that's G-E-T-T-R. That's the new version of Twitter for really non-censored opinions. And commentary. Uh, Parlor, I'll be expanding into Parlor next year. Also, Rumble, as well as Odyssey. And then, when eventually, when Trump's new site, I think it's called True Social, whatever they're going to call it, I certainly will be on that first thing. And I might have some different videos and other sites I'll let you know. Uh, videos off of YouTube, I can actually tell the straight truth without worrying about getting a strike or a warning or being demonetized or any of that craziness. And I definitely will be branching out into those. It's really sad because YouTube is where the action is. And they spent a lot of time and a lot of money making YouTube the number one video site. And I don't count TikTok as a video site. The number one video site in the world, in my opinion. That's where the action is. You know, it's funny. Uh, somebody asked me, why did you run for local office? And I said, that's where the action is, you know. And so that's my plans on that. And I have a few other things as well. 
and I've been toughing it out. I've been going against swimming upstream for a long time. And anything I've ever achieved in my life has always been 10 times harder than it should have been. But maybe things worthwhile are tough. But I'm not going to give this up. Uh, they're trying to keep me down. You have no idea the things they do to my channel to really screw me over. That's why I think if we band together, we can beat these guys. I need to open up. I need to expand. Once I get a break and I get a little bit of, oh, we'll call it coverage, so to speak, and people can see my channel and I get monetized, I really, really can pick up the channel. I can start doing live streams with interactions with people. Um, just go around and do some videos. I plan on getting a GoPro sometime next year. Uh, I do all my videos here, the 90% of them anyway, on my regular PC, my desktop. Uh, it's, the most, it's the best computer I have. I have a, a laptop, but it's not very good for recording. But I'm definitely going to get a really souped-up laptop next year as well and a GoPro. Those are the two things on my, on my wish list. And then as soon as I get monetized, God willing, I'll uh, really ramp up the channel. A lot more slicker videos, a lot more in-person videos, maybe like a, a sit-down talk video with two or three people, maybe not like Tim Cast, but similar to that where you have a lot of people sitting around. That's my goal in the end, to have a, just a discussion in general with different guests and some of the same guests or the regulars. And I want to really expand it greatly. I really, by the end of next year, want to have my own website Curtis Goes Corner and have different videos on there as well from YouTube, exclusive videos, uh, surveys, things like that. And maybe towards the end, I know things are tough, but maybe get some membership, you know, two, three, four, or five dollars a month. I know things are tough, but in the end, I want to be able to do this full time. Now, I sold my business in April of 2021. And I had planned on taking eight months a year off. That's pretty much what I'm going to do. Uh, I'll probably look for a job. I turned 65 in November of 2021. So I'm too young to retire, or at least I'm mentally too young to retire. Maybe not physically. <laughs> but I've still got that fire to push against what's going against our country and where I live in the area that I live in, my state, my region. And just the patriotism in general has taken a terrible hit. I think the next three years are going to be incredibly, incredibly amazing and wild and crazy, especially next year, starting in the spring and the summer when the midterms really start to heat up. Boy, I'll tell you, the crap's going to hit the fan. And... God only knows what's going to happen. It's going to be exciting, and I can't wait for it. And I hope things work out. I pray things work out for the country and for its citizens. But those are some of the things that I have planned uh, by the end of next year. Like I said, get my own website. But what I really need to do first is get monetized. Unfortunately, to do a lot of really cool stuff, it takes money for equipment and software. And I don't mind putting my own money in. That's fine. I put my money where my mouth is my whole life. But I like to be able to do this full time now that I've sold my business. Like I said, have a table, round table discussions. And I think it's going to be really cool in the end. But I need your support. And I'm not asking for money right now. I'm just asking for everyone that can possibly just copy the link in any of the social media sites that I have, especially YouTube. And just get out the name. Like I said, email your friends, your colleagues, maybe some of your coworkers. Uh, if you know anybody that's got a really popular site on YouTube, if they could help me out with a little, a little PR, that would be wonderful. That's how I picked up a couple of hundred subs from uh, Sweet Home Maricopa. He really helped me out. And Kim as well. We all know who she is. I don't want to go into detail. But anybody that knows her. No, she's a really good egg, and she mentioned my name to the people over to Sweet Home Maricopa, and that really helped me out a lot and brought me up a few hundred subs. 
but I need another couple of hundred subs, but it's the watch hours that are the problem. I, don't, I have less than a thousand watch hours, and they do it in a calendar year. I had not realized. I thought it was 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subs. Now, the 1,000 subs could take you one year. It could take you six months. It could take you five years. Whatever that time period was for 1,000 subs, that's what you got. I thought the watch hours were the same. Come to find out that's not true. You have to have 4,000 watch hours in a calendar year. So this being December 23rd, they go back to December 23rd of last year. And in that time frame, if you don't have 4,000 watch hours, you can't get monetized. Now, my, my episodes, my, my videos are between 10 and 15 minutes each. And right now, the average is only like three and a half minutes. I implore you, please, people, help me. Help me get those watch hours up. Now, some have mentioned going on my playlist and just letting them run. Technically, that's not kosher as far as YouTube goes. But the other thing is, if you do do that and you start on one and run through like 20 or 30 or 40 of them, I only get credit for the first video. You have to go through each one manually by hand. In other words, if you start video one, when it gets to the end, you have to manually click on video two. You can't let it just carry over. Plus, YouTube thinks it's cheating in a kind of a way it is if you just let it run, so that's why they stop that. Also, too, the likes. Likes and comments bring up in the algorithm. What they're really doing is they're putting me out there to somewhat of an extent, but what they're doing is they're showing me to people that they know from their history have almost zero chance of ever going to my channel. And that's the, that's the backstabbing evil part of it is they'll say, well, we're not suppressing him. Well, they are. And on top of that, they're showing my thumbnails to my videos to people's history, which means I have zero chance of picking up new subs because they're showing to people that simply are interested in what I have to offer. And that's the double, double evil part they do. I'm not whining. I'm not complaining. I've but up against tougher opponents than this and one out in the end, it just makes it 10 times harder. And if that's what it is, then that's what it is. But I'm not going to be, be discouraged, even though I do get that way sometimes. I'm going to keep plugging away. I'm going to try to expand. But I only can do it with your help. All my loyal subs, like I said, I keep sorry to keep pounding on the same drum. But if you can make a copy of a link of any of my videos and send them out to as many people as you can, it's our way of saying screw you to YouTube, then so be it. Because the censorship is just insane. I don't want to leave YouTube, but I might have to, but I don't want to. One reason I'm too stubborn, and number two is this is where the action is. This is where the viewers are. Now, I'll be on those other sites during the course of next year as well, maybe even my own website. But right now, I'm concentrating on YouTube. So as any of your, like I said, coworkers, friends, family, I think might be interested, uh, just sub so I can get the subs up over 1,000 and watch as many watch hours as you can. Right now, the average is less than four minutes of video, which is very low considering my videos are 10 to 15 minutes. So if you can watch more of that, I know time is tough. We have jobs. We have families. There's so much information to take in. Your time is limited. I get it. And I appreciate the time that you do give me. But we just need to overcome the hurdles that YouTube puts in front of us and in front of me. That would be very appreciative. So on this note, I'll leave it at that. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a great New Year. And God bless everyone out there. And I hope next year is a better year for all of us as individuals and as far as the country goes. We just have to keep our heads down and stay determined. And like I said, God bless all of you. And I wish all of you the most happiness in the world that life will allow. And until next time, God willing, goodbye. 
and good luck.